Hi everyone, welcome back to my sewing studio. Today I have a tutorial for you on how to hand stitch a fine rolled hem. Now I know you may be thinking, why do I want to hand stitch a hem? Well, if you're working with a fine or delicate fabric like a silk or a polyester chiffon, getting a beautiful hem um, on the machine with that very fine fabric can be very difficult. Um, and if you're doing if the hem has any kind of shaping to it, if it's curved in any way, that makes it even more difficult. So using um, a fine rolled hem will give you a beautiful finish. It will give you a professional looking finish. And so pouring yourself a cup of tea, sitting down relaxing and just doing a hand, little hand sewing is a great way to go. First, let me introduce myself. I am Lisa, the owner and designer behind Pink Holly Bush Patterns, with a line of children's clothing sewing patterns, most of which include an option for smocking and most of which are designed for knits. But I sew for myself and my two adult daughters all the time. So on my channel here, we discuss all things sewing and smocking. Today, we are talking about some hand sewing and um, I was taught this stitch um, and how to do this technique uh, many, many years ago by a wonderful sewing teacher. Her name was Cindy Foos, and she called, referred to this as the toy maker stitch. Now, I've never heard it called that before by anybody else, but that is what she called it. So that's um, still what I refer to it as. I used this technique when um, one of my daughters was going to senior prom. She fortunately got this beautiful red silk dress from the outnet. She's small and could get um, take one of the smaller sizes and fit into it beautifully, but it needed um, to be hemmed and I needed to cut um, I think a good six to eight inches off the hem. And on top of that, the hem had a, um, it was a fishtail hem. So it had a bit of a train to it, thus a curve. And I used this stitch very beautifully and very effectively to um, hem the dress. So with that, let's go to my sewing table and I will show you how to do this stitch. Okay, I've got this scrap piece of fabric here that I'm going to show you how to do the stitch on. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a clean edge. So if you have any fuzzies, like you can see I have here on the other side, you want to take a rotary cutter or your um, fabric shears and just cut those off. Now I have just regular sewing thread. I've knotted my thread. I am using um, a number uh, nine Milner's. You also could use um, a uh, sharps needle and that would work out fine. You want to um, use a fine needle if you're doing this on a fine fabric. You could use a little bit bigger needle if you're doing it on a thicker fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finger press this edge over by an eighth of an inch. Now you could do this at the iron if you wanted to, but if you're using, um, if you're doing a curve or a very fine fabric um, or a silk or a chiffon that's giving, that um, isn't as easy to press, um, you know, you could just do it with your fingers as you're going along. Now I'm gonna start out by coming up right in that fold. And that way I'm burying my knot in the fold to hide it. Then I'm gonna go down, and I'm just in the main body of the fabric beneath the um, fold, I'm gonna just grab a couple threads. Hope you can see that. And then I'm gonna pull it just so the thread lays flat on that fold of fabric. And there, I hope you can see that there. Then I'm gonna go back up right where I was, put my needle 
right in the fold and travel along an eighth of an inch in the fold. And then pull it again until it just lays flat on the fabric. Go straight down in the main body of the um, fabric beneath the fold. Grab a couple threads, pull it through, go back up, go right by where I was. It doesn't have to be the same exact hole that you're going in and you want to make sure as you go in that fold that you're moving um, along. So in other words, if you go to, since I am a stitching, I'm right-handed, so I am stitching from left to right. If when I went up to the top, I went to the right of where I had originally um, gone in, the threads would be crossed and it'll be difficult in the next step. So I'm gonna just pull that and there you can see it's lying flat. That's my, there's right against the fabric. I'm gonna go down again, right along that edge. I'm gonna grab my couple of threads and pull it till it's laying against it. And you wanna keep doing this for about five stitches. Once you've done about five stitches, grab my two little threads down here. You're then going to gently pull on that thread. And that's gonna make the magic happen and roll your hem. Hope you can see that. See how I have a beautiful rolled edge there. I'm going to keep going, kind of open it up just a little bit so I can get back up in um, that fold. And I'm going to go along and do another five stitches. I used a contrasting thread so you could see this, but the thread, I will show you in a second, where I'm taking those little stitches does show on the right side, so you want to make sure to use a matching thread. And then we're going to, again, pull this, and there you can see is my beautiful rolled hem. And this is the wrong side. And from the right side, you have those tiny little pick stick stitches. But you see the beautiful finish that this gives you. So I hope the next time you need to hem a delicate fabric, you will give the Toy Maker Stitch a try. Let me know if you do. I'd love to know what you are making with this stitch. Happy sewing.